All right, let's look at...
All essential personnel report to the holds in 10 minutes' time for the scheduled briefing session with the Commandant. You are ordered to continue manning your posts until that time. moment, every industrialized nation on the globe knows the specifications for Metal Gear. Worse yet, so do a number of rogue states. They are all working on deploying their own Metal Gear force to compete with the U.S.'s nuclear strike capability. The world is about to see a swarm of these Metal Gear derivatives. We initiated development of Metal Gear Ray as a countermeasure to these pirated weapons forces. The only thing that can stand up to a Metal Gear is, of course, another Metal Gear. With Ray. With Ray, the hundreds, if not thousands, of Metal Gears that exist all over the world are no longer a threat. The blind rush to nuclear proliferation will be contained, and it will be the Marine Corps and our Ray that will accomplish it. This weapon will render all other Metal Gears obsolete. Nations building up their own Metal Gear force will think twice about their nuclear... The shift in the balance of power will mean a new world order, and we, the Marine Corps, will play a central role in its military affairs. Ours is not the only military project devoted to Metal Gear development, but it cannot 
cannot be more different in nature from the Navy's. Theirs is a program that will add fuel to the uncontrolled fire of nuclear proliferation.
There's no need to think about this so much. You won't actually be dismantling the bomb. That's not for amateurs. What we'll try here instead is a temporary freezing measure. Here, look at this. This is a C4 bomb. It's live. You can see it pulsing. Now you spray this on the sucker and... There we go. Simple, huh? The spray freezes the detonator instantly. How long does the effect last? There's no way the thing can detonate in this condition. Even if you leave it alone, it'll stay out of commission for at least 24 hours. That's enough time. If we had the manpower, I'd recommend complete disposal. But this will have to do. The spray can be used from several yards away. Now check the floor, ceiling, walls, under a table, everywhere. Try to imagine the locations the bomber would choose. That won't be easy. We don't know a thing about Fat Man. Is there anything that'll help us locate the bombs? Here, take this with you. It's what they call an ion mobility spectrometer. It can recognize ionized gas emitted by C4s. The what? In other words, that little gadget sniffs out C4's scent. That's right. I've established a link-up with your radar network, so any scent detected will be represented visually. Have the sensor activated and keep your eye on the radar. What if he's using some other odorless substance? Let's see how well that sensor works. All right. I'm activating him. Watch. You see the green stuff on the radar? That's a visual representation of the C4 scent detected by the sensor. It's a pretty big area, isn't it? Don't complain. It's better than nothing. Just activate the sensors and search the area, okay? All right. Don't forget that you need the radar to use this system. Log into the node at every strut and turn the radar on. We have to keep out of the enemy's sight, too. Because the radar gets knocked offline when we're spotted? Exactly. Fat Man would have allotted some C4s here in Strut C as well. Here? Somebody there. Somebody there. Hmm? 
There's somebody there. Thank you. 